here at home the next time you show up to an event at Rice Eccles Stadium here. Well, you're going to notice a brand new video board at the south end of the stadium. A construction, as you see right here, has been going on for months and months now. And now it's time for the testing phase. New specials, Keith McCord, got a demo today. When you drive down Fifth South, you certainly can't miss it. It's huge, and it really dwarfs the Olympic cauldron. But it gives the stadium a much-needed upgrade. So 122 feet wide, 64 feet tall, 2.6 million pixels. And that's just the video board. The entire structure from the ground to the top is 135 feet. This is one of the bigger boards in the country right now, but there are upgrades going on all the time. So we kind of avoid the comparison game because I think that becomes dated really quick. This new screen replaces the scoreboard that's been used since 2004. Construction began last winter as workers poured tons of concrete and used large cranes to lift tons of steel into place. In the past few weeks, more than 10,000 LED panels were installed and the testing process began. Okay, in play. It's an LED board. Obviously, it's meant to be able to enhance the look of the video most of all, but it also allow, allows for all kinds of other graphics, images, advertising, um, and it can move in and out when necessary. Highlights and instant replays will be crystal clear. Besides the new video board, something else that's new here is the digital surround sound system. Speakers are embedded throughout the entire stadium, giving fans a better audio experience. It also cuts down on the noise outside the stadium. 130 speakers are mounted on poles circling the stadium, and each one is precisely aimed down at the various seating areas, giving the fans much better sound than before. In the past, the sound came from the video board itself, which resulted in extremely loud audio in some areas of the stadium or too soft in others. But then we would have neighbors far away who felt like they could really hear what was going on. And that's because the sound was just one big massive blast. Costs for these new stadium enhancements, $13.5 million, and none of it from tuition or taxpayer money. This is paid for from um, ticket sales and auxiliary services. So basically the people who enjoy it are the people who are paying for it. The new system will be unveiled July 16th for the unusual stunt driving Nitro World Games. Football fans, you'll get your first look at it at the Utes home opener September 1st. At Rice Eccles Stadium, Keith McCord, KSL 5 News. All right.